Right, so in this video I'm going to tell you how to control your dreams using a supplement called Mugwort. Now for those of you who are complete beginners, which might be a lot of you, <laughs> lucid dreaming is where you control your dreams, become aware of the fact that you're dreaming. It lets you be able to do anything in the dream, you can control it, experience anything you want to. And Mugwort is basically a type of herb that you ingest, right? you can either smoke it or uh, brew it in a tea. And when you ingest this herb, it helps you to have more vivid, you know, more brightly coloured, interesting and amazing feeling dreams and lucid dreams. And it's quite powerful. Um, it's been used throughout history to induce these types of crazy dreams. So, hopefully, hopefully the wind noise is not too bad. I'm looking at my notes here and I'm going to tell you everything I've learned, well, some of what I've learned, about this herb and how you can use this herb to induce crazy dreams that you've, you've probably not had dreams like this before. They're really going to be quite vivid, very likely to become to be lucid and very profound, very interesting. So that's why uh, that's why you want to do it. Okay, mugwort is very easy to use, very cheap to get, and very easy to get. You can get it on Amazon, most online stores, most uh, tea shops. It's completely legal. Uh, there's no real side, I mean there are some side effects but we'll cover those. So let's just get right into it. How you can have hyper vivid profound lucid dreams or just normal dreams using mugwort. So another interesting thing about this herb is that uh, it will enable you to remember more of your dreams. Even if you don't become lucid it will help you to actually remember them more and in more detail. So if you struggle with remembering your dreams Mugwort is a really good herb to take because it can help you actually have more vivid, profound dreams and you remember them more easily. You remember them better. So, another interesting thing about Mugwort is that if you dream current if you currently dream in kind of like black and white or it's hazy, Mugwort will actually let you start having colourful dreams. And so for that reason it's a very popular ingredient in most dream pills, lucid dreaming supplements, this kind of thing. So let's get into it. Let's just continue with this. Let's not try not to waffle too much. So the first step to having crazy vivid dreams using mugwort is obviously you need to get some mugwort. You need to actually buy some. It's very cheap, very easy to get. I will link in my description to the one I recommend, but you can just pick any one to be honest. I mean, as long as the dosage is good and the quality is good. I mean, just check the reviews first. That's what I always say, especially with, if you're getting it getting it from somewhere like Amazon. Just do a quick check of the reviews, make sure it's good, four and a half star and up, and at least 100, 100 reviews if you can. As long as those things are there, it's probably quite good and you're unlikely to have any problems. So the next step is something which I've discovered, in my experience, is the best way of taking mugwort. You need to actually brew it into a tea. So like I've said uh, before, mugwort usually comes in the form of like dried leaves or herbs and what you want to do is basically brew that into a tea. There's various options you have. The best way I've found is just to get the raw mugwort leaves, crush them down and you know pack as many as you can into one of those little tea strainers. Uh, you know, I'm sure you know the ones. It's like a little metal ball with holes in it and it kind of like holds the tea leaves. If you're a tea drinker you'll know exactly what I mean. If not then just type into Amazon or search on Google tea strainer or <laughs> something like that. And you want to basically just squeeze these um, mugwort leaves into this tea strainer and then brew it for about five to seven minutes. Kind of varies, depends on how strong the leaves are. It also depends a bit on how hot the water is. I mean, not everybody uses boiling water for tea. Myself, I like to use about 80 degrees, so not quite boiling. But yeah, experiment with it. When you do it right, it should taste a tiny bit kind of tangy or bitter. Tangy is the right word uh, when you first sip it. Just a little bit, not too much, but just, just a little bit of a tang. And when you taste that little bit of a tang, slight like bitterness, that's where, from what I've found, that's where it's going to be the strongest and most potent. So you want to brew it into a tea basically. Don't worry about smoking it, it's not good for you. Being Brewing it in a tea is the best way. I found it works very well when you mix it with things like valerian, and lavender. Uh, lavender meaning, when I say lavender I mean the uh, aroma of lavender. Valerian you can find in a tea but uh, you might have to, it might be a bit more expensive than the mugwort but I find that helps to keep you relaxed as you're 
taking this and that's really quite a big part of this. You need to be relaxed and very, uh, you need to slip into a deep sleep when you do this. So yeah, long story short, find a good quality one, good quality leaves, brew it into a tea and take it. You can, and there's two choices you have here with when to take it. You can either take it first when you first go to bed, which uh, for most people will be about 10 or 11 p.m. Or if you find that you wake up in the night because you need to go to the toilet or something, uh, if you drink too late, you know, too close to your bedtime, then don't do that. And instead, set your alarm for about 5 a.m. and then take it then, and then do a wake back to bed, which is a lucid dreaming technique. If you didn't know, I cover that in my other videos. It's just a pretty simple way of controlling your dreams. And so that's the main, that's I would say the basics. Okay, that's the absolute basics. You take the tea, good quality tea, at the right time, you brew it for about five minutes. Now, we're now gonna get onto the more advanced stuff. So what you wanna do is, before you actually take the tea in the evening, you wanna basically just visualize really, really strong emotional dream scenes. The more emotion you can involve, the better. So, and this takes a bit of practice to really know what I'm talking about here. You want to visualize really emotional scenes in the dream. Things where you're really engaged with what you're doing. No boring dreams, okay? You need to really visualize emotional, stimulating stuff, right? And you do this visualization about five, maybe 10 times a day during the day. And, spend, and each time you spend about a minute or two doing it, okay? Much like your reality checks, which is another way of kind of testing whether you're testing whether you're dreaming. I do have videos about this if you are new. And you basically just do those visualizations five to ten times a day, and then take the tea in the evening or with the wake back to bed at four or five a.m. If you do those things, you're going to have a very vivid dream. It is this is the simple explanation? That's that's what's going to happen. You're going to have a very vivid dream at the very least, right? You're probably going to have a lucid dream and you're gonna remember it in incredible detail, more detail than you're used to. So, you know, don't be like kind of surprised by that. Be ready for that. And then the final, I would say important tip with this is that just before you go to bed, so like 10 or 20 minutes before you actually get into bed, you need to meditate. And, do, and you can do this alongside taking the tea if you want to, for a bonus, right? But you need to meditate. If you have never meditated, you basically just literally close your eyes, don't move, and you tr the intention is to, to try not to think about anything. But of course, what's gonna happen is you are gonna think about things because we all do. So instead, focus on being aware of the fact that you're thinking about things. And that's it. See how it goes. And I'd love to hear your experiences with Mugwort in the comments.